right there. Joe, where we stand, we're about 420 feet from the road. So, you'd be within 500 uh -huh. feet. Oh, I think there's a power line run there. Oh, it's right. oh I think I, I think we're Oh snake! Look at that thing! Well, I'm trying to blaze a new trail to get to some of the fields. I know this is a low area. Okay, that ain't gonna work. I'm trying to find a creek crossing. So let's spin around, head back to the main entrance, back out to the front like parking area and see if I can find a nicer crossing area to cross this creek somehow.
going straight uphill. It looks like a road. Hopefully it is. Test uh, level six. All right, we're going to try and get some decent audio here. we've learned with buying land next to government property that is usually nine times out of ten all the government land is full mature trees so you could see to the left here they're big mature pines and other trees and usually on the private it's been logged at some point so usually there's a kind of distinctive boundary line the government property will have big mature trees and not much open ground where private will have been logged and it'll have some open ground. So that's pretty close to the border here on the left. I think I'm gonna come out on that big top field up in the corner. I think. We'll find out. Alright, I think I know where I'm at. This is where we came from the other side last time and had to stop I gotta be really careful here there's a lot of terrain changes oh I think I, I think we're oh snake look at that thing ah. forge my way down to the next plot in this process here so check out the beautiful uh, road system that I'm gonna create here uh, it's just amazing how this thing lays out but we're gonna cut through the woods here and it's a um, it's a ridge top so both on the right and the left are super steep drop-offs but it's almost like somebody designed this to have this beautiful road system so check this out right here
So check this out. We're going to name this the bald knob food plot. It's like the highest elevation. The two top ones are tough to tell. But anyways, this one has just stunning, stunning views. We would love to make this a building site up here. The, only, the drawback to that is trying to get power and water in that run this far up off of the road. But this has stunning views here. It's absolutely beautiful. But it's going to be a nice shelf top food plot. Hopefully we're going to lease this here in the next few days. I'm going to advertise it soon, but we're making a lot of progress here in these last day or two. So when you're cutting a new road system like this, you have to use um, what Mother Nature gives you. you so you're going to see I kind of bob and weave here. That's because I get kind of tippy in one steep spot and then I jog over and find another one. So you got to use the terrain on what it gives you, mainly the ridge tops and then fingers that go down that are fairly flat. Kind of like this one, although it's much steeper than it looks on film. So you use what uh, Mother Nature gives you on how to make your road system and you're just going to make life a lot easier on yourself. So I just connected this to the main, the main new road that runs through this whole low spot here and it connects, all, it connects three of the four food plots which you'll see in the after video today. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free Okay, so I just finished this bald knob plot here and, I, and as you saw a while ago I made one road that went down to the valley and connected it. But I found a better path here so I'm going to make another road down the ridge, uh, the side of this ridge down to the main valley road. This road, this position here just it's turned out to be better and you'll learn that, you know, when you spend more time on the property you start seeing you know better angles better terrain and so forth so now i'm going to connect a different road down to that main valley road for this uh um, bald knob food plot here so let's finish this up and and keep going because man we've we've got a lot of work done here and it's been pretty exciting so far thanks
Okay, so for today, I think I'm going to wind it down here at this section. I thought I'd get all of this in the next episode, but there's just too much ground to cover. Uh, we've been out here for several days now, and we've made a lot of progress, which you'll see soon. So I'll keep putting them in order. Don't forget, if you like our content, please share it for us uh, to help us compete against the gigantic channels because this is fun stuff. This is real life adventure. I mean, we're exploring this ground here for the very first time, basically, and we're going to do our best to put our science, our imagination into improving this land for us and for others that might lease it in the future. So stay tuned. This is where I'm going to leave off. Uh, the next episode will continue off from here and we'll keep keep the storyline going and you guys could join us for a lot of fun because so far even only it's been two or three days it's been a blast so far so we hope to see you on the next one thanks a lot i'll catch you next time